you never think that I am out doing this on my own because uh, there's so many people that work at the fringe and uh, do so many things. So uh, I'm just going to try to introduce you uh, to groups. Uh, first of all, we have Nick. Year. He was like the runner, so when your box office had a problem, he drove all around town delivering things. <laughs> also, uh, let's see our text in the house. Text in the house. Uh, we and, and I appreciate you. 
spirit and that energy. Um, next up, I'm going to read from backwards to forwards the top 10 selling shows. And the top selling show has a very special prize, a little trophy. So. <laughs> Number 10, the spooky shit show. Something we could do. She went up and saw Minnesota and she started the Kansas City French Festival in 2005. Yes. And she's had this vision that when I propose a new idea, they're like, oh, and we did that in 2009. Oh, we did that in 2014. So, you know, they have done so many amazing things over the years. And, uh, you know, during the pandemic, Cheryl found a way to make us survive. And um, Cheryl was uh, directed at helping me come in and join this. And she has been with me with knowledge and support and help all the way through. But I think one of the things that's been most amazing for me is just to see how much she loves art and how much she loves the artists. Yeah. I appreciate it so much. I know 
Mama Friend. That's right, Mama Friend. That's how she gets it done, right? And uh, as we were talking earlier, behind every uh, strong woman is, is a man she has to take care of. So, <laughs> Sorry. All right. So wait, Let's don't we have that. the honorable mention first. Yeah. So I can do the honorable mention. Right? <laughs> so interestingly, and I think there's a reason why I'm giving this award. I ended up having a connection with this show in the least likely probable way. But we have an artist here from the state of Washington. And of course, you know his name is DJ Reinmer, and he did come to where he Yeah, 
uh, it doesn't seem possible when we started in, in 2005 and it was a three day festival and I don't think I slept at all for five days. And now it's a two plus week, two and a half, two plus week festival. It's just amazing. Um, we brought Audrey in. She was selected from an amazing pool of candidates. I actually met Audrey in 2014 when Brent and I went to New York Fringe and she pulled Brent out of the audience <laughs> and do her show. And, and for those who don't know, Audrey has performed in fringes all over the world. And, <laughs> and produced, um, launched and produced an international festival in New York City for 10 years. So we knew, we knew that Brandon the role for vision was for her to take this festival to the next level. And I think she's proven this year that she can do that, and she's doing it, and I can't wait to see what else happens. Um, years and the community that we've created together because it's been all of us, all of artists and volunteers, it's been primarily a volunteer organization until the last year, the last two years. And so thank you all who helped and I can't even begin to name all the people who participated over the last 17 years. Um, but thank you all for helping build this community. And one final thank you, of course, my husband, because I'm drunk in the Minnesota <laughs> and didn't kick me out of the house when I wasn't making money all this year. So thank you. And thank you all, and I can't wait to see what's next. Thank you, Audrey. Um, oh, I wanted to just, Diana, am I missing anyone? But I have a couple things first. Um, I, I want to think, I know that Jamie Searle's here. Do we have any other venue uh, folks in the house? Yeah, Jamie uh, is uh, newly took over Westport Bowery and is also a new program, so we're super excited about that. And then, of course, we want to also thank our partners here that made all this time, took this chance to let us do the after parties. December 1st. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much.